Do you agree that white people should be killed and their babies should be killed? That is not my, that is not the position of our organization. That is not the position of myself. I'm asking about whether you agree with the sentiment. No, ma'am, I don't. Okay. You know, you say that the right wing is playing on racial fears. Absolutely. I, I, I want to ask you, do, do you hate white people? No, ma'am. I am not a hate teacher or I am a person that fights for the civil rights of black people, the human rights of black people. I understand and that you, that can, you, you will, object to discrimination against blacks, but, but I'm, I'm focusing on whether you discriminate against other races. And I, I want to ask you, have you ever referred anybody. to a white person as a cracker? Uh, it's possible. And what else, what other derogatory terms have you used to refer to white people? That is, that is not my focus, number one. Well, it's let me, my let focus. Let me say this. I do address white injustice against black people, and that I must do. Yeah, and do you, do you hate Jews? No, ma'am, I hate injustices by people Have you ever referred to Jews as Jews. something other than Jews? Not the real Jews, no ma'am. I, I am a black Hebrew also. I am a part of that family. Is it true, sir, that once it, at Howard University, uh, you led folks in a chant that went as follows? Who controls the Federal Reserve? Answer, Jews. Who has our entertainers and athletes in a vice grip? Answer, Jews. We want to bring on a man now who makes, this is you speaking, the Jews pee in their pants, Khalid Muhammad. Did you or did you not do that, sir? As a student at Howard University, some of that may be true, yes, as in standing up in defense of my people. I see. So it's, it's the right wing that incites racial fears, but you, no, well, you the, gave the, yourself let, a let pass. Me be, we stand with solid credibility amongst our own people and amongst others who would like to know the truth. Well, we'll let our viewers be the judge of that. Mr. Shabazz, thanks for being here.